Well, hi, Stacey. Thank you so much for agreeing to do this franchise owner interview. I know our viewers really love hearing about, you know, different owners in the system, um, their experience, you know, becoming a right at home franchise owner and, and running a, a business. Um, so would you mind, first of all, just start out by telling us um, your name and location? Sure. Um, so my name is Stacy Heppinger, and I uh, own the franchise that is right at home North Pittsburgh. So I am located north of Pittsburgh in the state of Pennsylvania. Perfect. And then when did you become a right at home franchise owner and how many territories do you own? Uh, so our, I officially became a right at home franchise owner in November of 2022. And I have two territories um, that I oversee. And it is a very interesting uh, experience. And it was a great process to get to where I am. Fantastic. And tell us a little bit about your background be before becoming a right at home franchise owner. Okay, perfect. Um, so actually, with my background, I started uh, as a caregiver for right at home as a caregiver in the franchise that I ultimately have purchased. Um, back in 2018, I got hired on as a caregiver after, um, you know, having done some personal caregiving for my grandmother before she passed away. And I grew as a caregiver and then an opportunity presented itself for me to transition from a caregiver in the field to more of an administrative role within the office. And so I took that unique opportunity to get to know the administrative side of everything. And then as the owner of the agency was looking to retire, he made the offer to sell the agency to me. And that's ultimately how I became the franchise owner for these two territories. Fantastic. And that's just such an amazing journey. I mean, I'm sure that you didn't walk in thinking I'm going to become a caregiver and own this franchise one day. No, if somebody had told me that I probably would have told them that they were crazy, but I fell in love with the industry being a caregiver and seeing just how important it is to provide the services that we provide. So when I had the opportunity to learn the business from the administrative side, I felt that it was really important for my growth and my development. And little did I know that would ultimately lead to me becoming a franchise owner. Absolutely. And if you can think back, you know, like, why did you decide, first of all, to apply it right at home? And then after working in the system for so many years, why did you decide, hey, you know what, I see the ins and outs, I see the struggles, I see the amazing, you know, lives that we are impacting. Uh, I'm going to make that leap into becoming a business owner. Um, so like I had mentioned before, um, my grandmother, before she passed away, our, our family surrounded her to do in-home hospice care. And we very quickly realized that as many hands as we had to help, we still needed some additional help. And right at home was recommended to my family. And we contacted the office here um, in Zelianople, and they sent uh, fantastic staff out to talk to us about the services that they offered, how they would be able to provide help for our family, and then ultimately sent some fan fantastic caregivers to come out and work with us. And so through that process and, you know, being exposed to the right at home agency as a consumer or family member of somebody who was having services provided, uh, when I ultimately decided that it was time to um, transition from stay at home mom to back into the workforce and caregiving was a path that I was interested in, there really wasn't any other place I wanted to go. Right at home was the first application that I submitted and I went through the interviewing and onboarding process and this is kind of where I found my home as a caregiver. The staff was so supportive and so knowledgeable um, the field supervisor here in our office, she brings so many years of experience to this particular agency for the industry. And she is always fantastic about, you know, as long as you are upfront and honest with her, she will answer any question that you have, you know, never makes you feel like you don't, um, like you're asking a dumb question. Cause I, I asked a lot of those at the beginning, but she always, you know, treated me with so much respect. And so that was something that kind of cemented that caregiving was the right field for me. Um, and then, like I said, you know, 
being able to take that passion for that type of work and switch it over to the administrative side. It was a unique challenge. Um, I had received a business degree a long time ago when I was first starting out um, after high school, and I really hadn't done anything with it. So transitioning to the administrative side was a fantastic opportunity for me to use some of those skills. And then ultimately being in the position to become the franchisee was kind of an amazing opportunity for me. And it has been, um, you know, a great new challenge for me uh, with an agency that really I just love and an industry that I care very much about. Fantastic. Um, can you walk me through what does your typical day look like? There is <laughs> actually, it's it's funny that you that you asked that question. Um, I actually had my my daughter came in and shadowed me just uh, earlier this week, and it was very interesting for me to kind of break down my day and explain uh-huh. that to a fifteen year old. Um, according to her, my job is very boring, but I yeah. love what I do. Um, so on a typical day for me as an owner, it hasn't changed as much from when I was the office manager. I'm still doing the day-to-day. I handle the payroll, the billing. Um, I'm handling scheduling for caregivers and clients. And ultimately with our team being a little bit smaller, there's a lot of different jobs, um, you know, inside sales and outside sales kind of fall towards all of us here in the office. Um, You know, I will field phone calls as they come in and direct where they need to go just because we have such a smaller staff at this time. Um, So it, as an owner, it really hasn't changed much from what I was doing as a manager. There's just a few, a few extra, um, you know, for, for example, this type of uh, um, get to know you kind of a video for corporate um, was recently invited to speak at a workforce development conference for some of our local state representatives to kind of advocate for uh, our caregivers and, you know, making it easier to bring more caregivers into the workforce, which you know, as an owner was an amazing thing for me to do. So that's kind of the day to day for me. <laughs> Fantastic. And would you uh, share with our listeners, what uh, part of the right at home support do you feel is the most valuable to you as a franchise owner? Um, well, first of all, I think one of the things that I really like the most is the agency to agency support. So in the area where I am, I have four sister agencies that are within close proximity to where I am, and they have been established, you know, for quite some time and being able to reach out to their various different staff positions. um, You know, I've spoken to recruiters, what are your best practices, what's working for you, what's not. Um, You know, I've spoken to other office managers and directors of operations and, you know, that very collaborative and cooperative um, system that's fostered has been something that has been amazing for me as I've learned different positions to grow to the position that I have right now. Um, The corporate support is also fantastic. I mean, you from your performance coach who is there for all of the questions kind of as the quarterback and sort of directing, you know, doesn't matter what my question is. When I go to my business performance coach, if he can't answer it, he can definitely get me in the right direction, Um, you know, and breaking that down into the different uh, support centers that they have, whether it's marketing or HR, you know, all of that stuff. And it corporate makes it so readily available to you. So you really don't feel like you're in this by yourself, which is great, especially, you know, if you've never owned a business before, it's great to know that you're really not doing it by yourself. There's a lot of people out there that want to see you succeed within the franchise system. All you got to do is send an email or make a phone call and then somebody's going to get you an answer. Fantastic. And then what is one piece of advice that you would give somebody going through the discovery process? Um, I would have to say, if you're going through the discovery process, you want to make sure to me that your intentions are, are pure. Mm -hmm. It's a fantastic industry and it is a great franchise system to work for. But at the end of the day, 
nobody's going to be a millionaire. If you really want to be a good owner, in my opinion, you've got to be in this for the right reason. And that is making sure that you as a person want to see your agency provide a high level of care for all of the clients you're taking care of and fostering a quality work environment for all of the caregivers that you employ. Absolutely. I love that. And I can just see your passion come through, you know, when I talk to <laughs> You know, and I absolutely love it because I always tell people, you know, all of the numbers substantiate themselves, but you really have to want to make a difference. You have to like people. I mean, this is such a people driven industry. Yes, and I is. think that situation with your grandmother, you know, it just gave you a whole level of understanding for what a difference that you're making in other people's lives. And, and that difference that right at home made in your grandmother and your family's life as well. Absolutely. Put me on an amazing path and, you know, gives me the opportunity to be here to talk to you today about all of this. Absolutely. Well, Stacey, thank you so much for your time. I absolutely love talking to you. Um, I think you are just such an incredible owner in the right at home system. We are so proud to work alongside you and you definitely are out there impacting so many people's lives and making the world a better place. Well, thank you, Jess. And I, I feel the same. I am so glad to see you getting, you know, situated and, and doing so well in your position, you know, going through the training with you was a great experience. And, you know, even something like that in this system is amazing. You know, mm -hmm. we keep in touch with so many people from the training class that we went through together and we're able to reach out and bounce ideas off of everybody. And that kind of, you know, one-on-one -on -one support is, it's another great reason that this is a wonderful system to be a part of. Absolutely. And I know I had a question last year and I reached out and asked, <laughs> and you got me the answer. I was like, you know, it's so great because so many people, they just want to help one another. And exactly. I think that the amazing thing about being part of a great franchise system is exactly. that you're not on an island by yourself trying to figure everything out. You have people been in that same, the same shoes as you. And, and we all want each other to succeed at the end of the day. Of course. Well, it has been such a pleasure. Thank you so much, Stacey. Absolutely. Thank you, Jessica. I appreciate it. And I hope that this is, this is helpful for everything that you're doing. Absolutely. It is. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Bye.